Hi there, it's time for new in June. Um, these are a couple of things that I've got during the course of June and I just wanted to share what I thought of the product and um, yeah, so just to get started, the, the first couple of things I have are repurchases that I have mentioned before. Um, I repurchased the Balm Balm Frankincense Deep Cleansing Balm and I also repurchased the Clarins Gentle Exfoliator Brightening Toner with Tamarind. Um, the thing I wanted to mention about this Clarins Exfoliating Toner is that they have changed the packaging so the bottle now looks a lot smaller but um, you're still actually getting the same amount of product. Um, it's still 125 ml but the, the previous bottle was much bigger and more square and flatter whereas this one is round um, but they still contain the same amount of, of toner. When I bought my um, cleansing balm from Balm Balm, I also got a sample of the Balm Balm Little Miracle Rose Hip Serum, which is um, basically like a facial oil that contains rose hip oil and jojoba borage seed oil, um, mandarin orange peel oil and various other oils. Um, this is 100% organic and I have replaced my morning moisture uh, serum with this rosehip serum and I've been using it every morning and I find that now that my skin is drier it's really making a big difference to um, the sort of dewiness of my makeup um, stops me getting dry patches during the day or my makeup looking a bit sort of flaky um, and I've really loved, enjoyed this. I did mention it in my product samples and minis video, so um, I'm not going to say any more about that. Um, I got three new lip colors in the course of June. Um, two of them I ordered from Red Square online when they had a 15% off sale. Um, the first one, which had been sitting in my online shopping basket for quite a while, is the Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. Um, I got it in shade 1, which is Rose Shimmer. They don't actually contain any shimmer, so their names are slightly misleading. I've owned this exact product in the past, and I loved it, and I think I actually had two tubes that I used up completely, so um, that attests to how good they are, because I remembered how much I enjoyed this lip gloss. It's um, a really sheer wash of color, but um, totally non-sticky and very moisturizing, so it is a lip balm, lip gloss hybrid, um, that's the color is very natural looking and just enhances your natural lip color and so I'm really glad that I repurchased this I'm probably gonna get one or two more shades because I'm just really enjoying it and then in order to get free shipping you have to spend 350 rand so I added another lip product into my cart to qualify for the free shipping and I decided to go for the Clinique long glass glassware in guava gold um, as you can see, this is like a really pretty peachy pink and it's got this really pretty gold pearlescent shimmer in it. Um, so I thought the color was really unique and um, that is what I like the most actually about this product is the, the color. You can layer it over pink or peach or whatever color lipstick and it will change the color of the gloss. So um, the, the applicator is nice, it's got the little doe foot applicator. Um, the thing that I want to note about this gloss is that it is super, super sticky. So this is probably the goopiest, stickiest gloss that I've worn in a long time. If you don't like sticky gloss, then you're going to want to avoid these Clinique um, Long Last Glosswares. But um, on the upside, because it is so sticky, it is very long lasting. So um, I can apply this and hours later I'll still have some shine and a hint of color on my lips. So to me, it's really worth it. I'll put up with the stickiness just for the longevity. And then the third lip color that I got, probably end of May, actually not really in June, was the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in Grandest Grape. Um, this is just a beautiful plum color that I thought would be perfect for winter. So um, yeah, I really wanted to explore more bold lip colors, which usually scare me a bit. Um, and I definitely wanted a plum for winter, so I'm really glad I went for this. The chubby stick intents are much more opaque than the normal chubby sticks, so um, they're not really sheer. This is a really bold, opaque color. 
Um, at the same time, it's moisturizing and it's pretty long lasting. So it's also totally easy to apply. I mean, it's, it's basically a crayon. Um, I love the chubby sticks and I'm really glad that I, I picked up this color because although I've only worn it two or three times, because I have to say the boldness of it still scares me a little bit, um, I have enjoyed it when I have worn it and I think this winter I'm going to try and embrace it more. Probably the most exciting purchase of mine during June um, were two items from the Chanel Summer Collection. Even though it's the middle of winter here, um, I was really looking forward to this collection coming out because there were two items that I was very interested in and I ended up getting both of the the products that I saw online that I liked. Um, the first one is the Cream Blush in Cheeky. This is my third Chanel Cream Blush uh, that I've purchased now. And the, the color of this really intrigued me. Although it looks a lot like putty, um, if you can see, it's a really putty brown color. It's looking a little bit orange now under this light. But um, when I swatched it in the store, I, I didn't really feel that passionate about it. That is a swatch. It's also looking quite orange. Um, I didn't love it when I swatched it and I decided I'm going to buy it anyway because I had my heart set on it and so I bought it and I'm really glad I did because the color is, once it's blended out on my cheeks, it's a really unique color that um, it's very subtle and it works for my really pale skin tone, either as a blush or a bronzer. I can even lightly contour with it. There's a lot of things that I can do. It's sort of multi-purpose because of the uniqueness of the color. So I'm really glad that I bought this. Um, I did want to mention that the price of these cream blushes has gone up disgustingly in the past six months. About six months ago they were 440 and now they are all the way up to 535 Rand, which I think is a ridiculous price for a cream blush, even if it's Chanel, um, which do make beautiful cream blushes, but at that price, I don't really think I'm going to be repurchasing any more of these because I think it's got out of hand with the exchange rate and everything. And then the other um, thing that I got from the Chanel Summer Collection um, was the Illusion d'Ambre in New Moon which is absolutely gorgeous. You can see it's a coppery brown color and it has a high glitter content. So if you don't like really glittery eyeshadows, then you're not gonna like this particular one. The other two in the collection were more um, shimmery or metallic, whereas this one was quite glittery, but that is what I loved about it because I love sparkle. Um, what I love about the Illusion D'Ambra formula is that it's like a lovely spongy texture and it's just so easy to apply with your finger. Um, you can also use a brush. It does come with a cute little brush, which is nice for just popping in your make makeup bag. But otherwise, it's so easy to just blend out with your finger. And um, despite the high glitter content, it still manages to look subtle, um, especially indoors. Um, if you go out in the sun, you're going to get that full diamonds on your eyelids experience that I just think is so pretty. But the actual color of New Moon, this coppery brown, is really pretty and flattering. And I'm absolutely thrilled with this purchase. I've actually made one mascara purchase this month and I have got so many mascaras on the go at the moment. Um, one, two, three, four, five, probably about four or five that I'm using in rotation simultaneously, which is shocking. Um, but the Chanel Summer Collection included a bright purple and bright orange waterproof mascara. And I wasn't quite brave enough or quite interested, frankly, in having bright purple eyelashes. But I thought a hint of color on my lashes might be a nice idea. And um, L'Oreal recently came out with the Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara. And there was a big hype about it. And I wasn't really that interested in them, frankly. But they do do a purple version. And sort of the Chanel Purple Mascara sort of encouraged me to think about purple in a mascara. And I. Uh, I heard really good things about this mascara, so I thought, you know, it's pretty inexpensive, so I'll just pick one up and see how I go with it. Um, that is what it, the purple mascara looks like. Um, yeah, I've, I've used this a couple of times, and I have to say that I really like the wand. It's just so soft and gentle to apply. You, it's not going to poke you in the eye. It's not one of those hard plastic bristles, bristle ones. And um, 
The purple is really subtle, so I'm actually wearing it today and you can't even see that my, my lashes are purple. Um, it's a very, very, very subtle purple, so um, I like that about it and I actually sort of, I like the way it looks on my lashes. The look, but as you can see, I think it's got quite a nice effect on the lashes. So I'm glad that I picked this up and it was inexpensive and it's a bit of something different. Um, my first non-black mascara. And I can rec really recommend this. Some people hate them and some people love them. So I suggest giving them a, a try because I think they're 129 rand. So it's really worth it if you hate it, you can pass it on to a friend or something. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to mention, there are one or two other things that I have ordered or I'm still waiting for and should arrive this week. So um, I'm probably going to do a separate video on those because one of them is from the UK and it's really exciting. Um, so the last thing I'm going to mention today, because I just talk too much, is the L'Oreal Revitalift Magic Blur Anti-Aging Moisturizer. Um, I was sent this earlier in the month um, to review and um, the first thing that just struck me about it, everything from the red packaging to the um, color and texture of the cream remind me so much of the Clarins um, Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. This is basically like a really good drugstore dupe for that. Um, the way it feels when you're applying it onto your skin is almost identical. So if you're interested in the Clarence Primer and it's a bit pricey, I think that's about $3.50. This is $1.99. It's available at Clix. And um, yeah, it's basically um, a dupe for the, for the Clarence Primer. I don't use this as a moisturizer because it is not at all moisturizing. But it is um, really good at sort of creating the illusion of um, sort of blurring, the, blurring imperfections like fine lines and pores and really smoothing out your skin. So um, it does have some OptiBlur technology in it that actually works. It's also mattifying, so it just makes a really good primer. I use it like sort of in, around the center of my face. Um, with a moisturizer underneath because it's, as I said, not very moisturizing. Oh, this is a very interesting product and they also do a Magic Blur finishing cream designed to go over your moisturizer that you might want to have a look at as well. So um, that is absolutely everything that I have to talk about at the moment. I will be back with a video, a small video on my most exciting June purchase that I got I ordered online from the UK so and um, yeah that's pretty much it for now I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time bye